Hey guys, thanks for joining us here at BZB Express TV. Really appreciate it. My name's Chris. Today we're going to be going over a matrix switcher and video wall. Now, you may have heard of this before. Uh, if you look at the previous video, basically the BZ-MBS8x8-4K was covered. However, we would like to emphasize uh, some other capabilities of it, including the ability to have a video wall slash matrix switcher on the same wall using the same panels. Today we're gonna to show you how you can configure this. It's very easy and definitely economically friendly. Now, as we know, a lot of times you walk into a sports bar or restaurant, place of entertainment, they typically have a projector uh, with a big screen up on the wall. That's always been the popular way to go. Unfortunately, as times have gone on, we have found that they are a little bit more of a pain than they're worth sometimes due to the maintenance, uh, the obstruction up on the ceiling, uh, the screen uh, getting dirty. Well, now since TVs have dropped significantly in price, a lot of owners of sports bars, restaurants have decided to go the video wall route. However, when you look at getting a video wall, there's a lot of costs involved. Typically, a video wall processor is going to cost anywhere from $2,500 to $7,000. Um, if you want to be able to matrix switch that video wall, that's going to be an additional uh, anywhere from 3,000 to 15,000, depending on how many inputs and outputs you need. So BZB Gears uh, team has decided to create a unit that will allow you to do both the video wall and matrix switching. If you look at the previous video that we had done, you will see some of these capabilities. Just hit the link and you can check it out. It gives a little more detailed information. Today's demo will be more or less going over how to set up the video wall and the matrix switcher using our MVS 8x8-4K unit and how simple it can be to operate and change sources. So basically what I'm saying is, say you have um, four sources that you plug into this 8x8 matrix switcher slash video wall. You can watch all four of the sources if you have four panels on the wall. For this example, let's say uh, four 85 inch uh, flat panels. That's like 170 inch uh, viewing space, which is huge. Most projector screens you're only gonna see around 120, 150. Um, but what's cool is, say you have four games going on, but one game ends up being a lot better than all the other games. You can take those four games that are individually split up and merge into one source, making one giant large screen for the best game out of the four. This is just huge. It's, gonna, it's great for your establishment um, with some really nice panels. You'd be surprised like just how much this can take your establishment up to the next level. So let's take a quick look and show you uh, basically how this is set up. Again, very simple, uh, relatively easy to do. Uh, as far as changing sources, you can do it from your phone or you can do it from the laptop. Uh, essentially, you are going to need eight HDMI cables if you have four displays. The reason being is because you are going to need to come out of the HDMI outputs, say one through four. On this system, you can actually designate which outputs are going to be for the video wall specifically. So in this case, we decided to designate one through four as our video wall and five through eight for our matrix switching capability. So as you can see here on the back of this unit, we have our, what we were referring to, RS-232 connection. Uh, using this dongle with this USB connection at our laptop. We also have our LAN port connection for that easy to use web UI for source control. And then we have our uh, four sources using uh, our ZigBee cables here. And then we also have eight HDMI cables. This is what we're referring to that you need to run to the TVs. That's two HDMI cables per TV using HDMI number one for one through four, HDMI number two through five through eight. What this is gonna do is give you the ability to make a simple input change, meaning all you're gonna need to do is take your TV remote, or if you're using a third-party control system or universal remote control, uh, you will have the ability to change the input on the TV. If you just have the TV remote, you're gonna have to kind of point at all four at once to try to not to get them out of sync, of course. That's a little bit of the pain, but again, it's not too bad. Um, so once you do that, you're going to change the source from one to two. Let's take a quick look and I'll give you an example. As you can tell now, we're on our matrix switcher. So this is our HDMI five through eight outputs currently. We wanna look at the video wall. So how we do that is we take our TV remote or use your third party control system, go to the TV. You're going to select your source, again with the TV remote, point at all at once, and then you're going to change them up. So now we're gonna to go to HDMI one, which again was for a video wall. 
Once you select that, give it about three to five seconds, and there you go. This is our tool. This is the tool that you would be using through an RS-232 connection to your laptop. This is the primary tool for doing, doing a different um, amounts of configuration, whether it's adjusting resolutions, EDID settings, a little more complex. Um, however, of course, you don't want everyone getting into this tool if it's set up, um, whether you have staff or management, there is another option. Basically, it is the IP address. So the device has an IP address. You're gonna type that into the header and that is gonna give you the ability to go into the software and change sources without all the other uh, functionality or configurations so people can't mess anything up. Again, very simple program. It's just basically changing uh, your sources one through four. It'll change all at once or changing your sources five through eight individually. Now, once you get your cables connected, you should be good there, but make sure, um, obviously, you need the software program. So one of the steps is to go to our bzbgear.com website and go to downloads and make sure to download your RS-232 program. The cable is included in the box, so that part's got you covered. Once you've got that uh, program for the RS-232, you will see um, that there's a bunch of different configurations you can see in there, uh, how to set things up, EDID settings, matrix switching, networking, uh, a variety of different aspects, as you can see. Make sure also to connect the LAN port. The LAN port's essential for um, being able to connect that laptop and that, that uh, phone of yours or tablet. So now that you can see how the software works, uh, as simple it is is for connecting them. Again, if it's over 50 feet, use an extender. Uh, BZB Express offers extenders as well as BZB gear. Um, other than that, it's as simple as pointing the remote at the TV, changing the sources. If you can, if you have a third-party control system, you're going to want to get your installer or your program to come in and make sure that's easy to uh, work. And that will be him configuring the matrix switcher as well as the TV's uh, source changes. Give us a call, give us an email, chat, whatever not. Uh, we're here. We really appreciate you hanging in there with us, and we hope to see you. Hit subscribe, hit like, always appreciate it. Um, have a good one. See you guys.